Hello everybody, Rachel Fiore here, CEO of Masters of Self University and creator and founder of the Mystical Life Coach Certification Program, which by the way is completely transforming and elevating the entire coaching industry. Okay, today's topic. I wanna to talk to you about how you take your relationship to fuckity fuck town way more often than you realize you do. Why and how one of the biggest, most common mistakes that I see people making out there is they expect their partner to meet their needs. This shit needs to stop. And I know, I know there are billionaire coaches out there and therapists and all these books and everything written on, oh, how to get your partner to meet your needs for you. And I'm going to tell you right now, it's all absolute fucking bullshit. You want to know why your relationship has gone to shit town. You're taking it there by expecting your partner to meet your needs. Why? You're not a child. That's why. You're showing up as a child in your relationship, codependent, disempowered, needy, incapable, immature child who can't take care of themselves. How old are you? Only babies and infants and little children, toddlers, need mommy or daddy to meet their needs for them because they are literally incapable of doing it for themselves yet. This is childish behavior. It's a dependency, it's a neediness, and it needs to end. That's one of the, the, one of the main reasons how and why you're taking your relationship to fuckity fuck town all the time, wondering what the hell, my partner doesn't meet my needs, but he shouldn't have to. She shouldn't, that's not her job. You're not a baby, you're not a child. You grow up, meet your own needs. Become a mature, healthy adult that isn't dependent on another person outside of themselves to meet their needs for them. You are not a child. We have to learn and be willing to see how we are actually showing up in our relationships versus how we like to think we are. And all this focus on part, how do I get my partner to meet my needs? Well, you grow up and you meet them yourself. You let your partner off the hook of that bullshit. That's why. What we don't realize is we reenact our childhood over and over and over again in our romantic relationships. We just don't know how. We don't see it. We don't understand it because it's not what's taught to us. It's time to take radical responsibility and grow up and learn how we're showing up in our relationships, really. Okay? Your partner meeting your needs for you means that you are childishly immature and have some, you're a burden. You have some expectation that your partner's there to meet your needs. It is time to grow up because that will wear and tear, tear your partner down and the relationship down over time. It's too much. You are literally a burden to your partner when you show up in a relationship expecting them to meet your needs for you. Do it for yourself. What do you do when you're single? What do you do when you're single? Don't meet your own needs? You don't eat? You don't have shelter? You don't have clothes? You don't know how to get dressed? Think about this. No. You should be showing up in your relationship as a healthy, mature, healing, don't be fully healed, but healing adult. And if you expect your partner to meet your needs for you, you are showing up as anything but that. Get rid of the codependency. I show up as a whole being, not a child, a mature, emotionally mature, spiritually mature, mentally mature adult who can take care of myself. I don't need my partner. And then a lot of people, be, well, then what the hell's the relationship for? Oh, right there is where you're screwing up. Because right there is that deep-rooted mentality, subconscious belief that my partner is here to give things to me, to make me happy, to meet my needs, and that's where you're fucking up. That's not what it's for. Your partner, when you choose to come together, you're choosing to share life together. You're choosing to share life together. You're choosing to live your lives together, to learn, to grow, to expand, to share the challenges and the shit days, as well as the wonderful, joyous, exciting times together. You're, you're here to share life by choice, not because you're needy and codependent. So 
I, will, I challenge you to wake up and see how you're showing up in your relationship. Do you expect your partner to meet your needs? Have you learned from people that don't know better? I don't care that they call themselves therapists and coaches. Here's how you express your needs to your partner. Why don't you try meeting your needs for yourself? Guess what? It frees up space in your relationship. It frees up your partner from having to be a parent to you. Remember I mentioned a minute ago, we reenact our childhoods over and over and over again. We just don't know how. This is one of the ways we are doing it by creating a child parent relationship and wondering where the passion goes. What happens to our sex lives over time and our romantic relationships when we're showing up as a child expecting a parent to meet our needs? I don't expect my, my partner to be a parent. Do you expect them to meet your needs? Then yes, you are. You are creating a parent-child relationship. Ew. Ew. Who wants to have sex with that? Ugh. Who wants to have romantic, passionate, wonderful, wild, loving, joyous, delightful sex with a child? Think about it. And you wonder why your relationship goes to fuck town all the time. Start with how am I expecting my partner to meet my needs and how do I need to grow up and grow out of those programs and those patterns that are sabotaging the health and the passion in my relationship? That's where you need to start. I am a powerful, divine, mature wonderful being who is more than capable of meeting my own needs and in fact as a mature adult that is exactly what I should be doing start there and stop expecting your partner to meet your needs and here's the really funny ironic thing about all of that when you take the time to heal yourself in these ways and you show up as really powerful independent beautiful person who is nothing but an abundant addition positive addition to relationship the funniest thing in the world that lets your partner off the hook and then he or she is like, oh my God, what can I do for you? I would love to do this for you. I'd love to make your life easier. Oh, let me selflessly serve you. Oh my God, unconditional love pours into your relationship organically, organically as a byproduct of you taking the time to heal yourself and be a powerful divine being. Isn't that beautiful how that works? All right, stop expecting your partner to meet your needs. If you want to learn more, go to mastersofselfuniversity.com. Look at the digital courses. Look at the coaching that is available for you and your partnership and your relationship or as an individual. And check out a monthly membership. You can come to live classes twice a month to learn exactly how to do everything that I'm sharing with you now. Check it out, mastersofselfuniversity.com. I'll see you there. Have a good day, everybody.